Most people don't expect to get robbed and have their things stolen. But even if you are conscious of that happening, you'll probably think that it's going to happen with some kind of force, some kind of push, shove, grabbing at your belongings and forcibly taking them from you. But that is not always the case, as will be revealed in today's video, where it's quite a remarkable example of misdirection and quite blatant theft, because the person involved had ostensibly absolutely no idea that it was happening. So let's take a look at this video. The uh, credit and the link to it is in the description below. Um, this lady here is at uh, an ATM cash machine, and it just goes to show how you have to be absolutely heightened awareness when you're at one of these machines to prevent these things from happening. Don't let anybody help you. Don't let anyone be around you, as you will see from this clip. Let's take a look at what happens. So she's clearly trying to pay something in in some kind of envelope. Someone else behind her is clearly saying, no, 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 you don't do it that way. You do it this way. But watch what happens. Did you spot it? This person wasn't being helpful at all. You can see the point at which she's just about to put it in, if I rewind here. She's just about to put it in, and you see the hand in the bottom right-hand corner wiggling around there, which you possibly missed the first time around as she's putting it in. They're obviously saying, no, 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 not that way around, the other way around. She turns around as if to say, what? I'm doing it wrong? She takes it out because she's worried. Watch it again. Watch the hand. You Press play. Wiggle up the hand. She turns around, what? She pulls it out quickly, thinking, oh, I, I don't want to put it in the wrong way around. This person comes along and says, no, here, look, this is the way, but then switches it for another one, which has obviously either got nothing in it or just pieces of paper in it to make it feel like it's got something in it, but obviously doesn't have the money in it. She now thinks that's done, and she probably thinks that the person was either being helpful or has, you know, corrected themselves and said, oh, actually, no, it was the right way round. But matters not. They now have the envelope which has either checks or cash in it. And so this just shows that you don't trust anyone even to help you if they're being helpful. Now, this reminded me of another example where I did on my own channel here, where somebody sent me footage of them uh, being in a coffee shop and the police didn't want to go and retrieve the mobile phone, even though um, it was tracked to a specific location. The victim did retrieve it. That's a whole other story. I'll link my video in the description below as well. But I'm going to show you the CCTV portion from my own video here. Uh, again, it's somebody trying to be helpful. As I said, you'll find this full video with my explanation linked in the description below. But watch what happens here. This is the CCTV footage and people coming in and somebody comes in, follows them in with the intent to steal. Here the uh, female comes in now with lots of bags. This person now coming in with the pink bag is trying, actually she's stolen the phone already, but then distracts from the fact that it's been stolen by being helpful, by pointing, helping, making useful, helpful comments. So I'm told by the person that so sent me this footage. The so this just goes to show, even if someone is on the face of it being helpful, even on the face of it talking to you, being communicative with you. So if you're out not expecting to be robbed, uh, but now you might think about it, it isn't necessarily going to come to you with force and aggression. Like, I've had someone try to mug me, rob me, when I was in China. The first I knew of it was they punched me in the back of the head. But with the training that I've had, I turned around ready to fight. So it didn't really bother me in that sense. But it just shows that it is not necessarily going to be an aggressive take. So you may get someone that on the surface appears like they're trying to be helpful to you, but actually they're not. So this is just a warning to you. This is how this stuff happens. So if that's useful at all to you or someone you know, please do share it with somebody. Please do like the video and subscribe. Um, 
I do ask every time because that helps my channel grow and otherwise you'll forget to do so. In fact, um, a good percentage of you that watch don't subscribe. So please do that. It does help YouTube spread this to a wider audience and I'm eternally grateful. So in the meantime, thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.